Hello, this is the Infocom Unwrapped, coming to you live from Vegas. I'm here with Reese. Reese, what's up? Well, here we are, Sin City, baby. First time I've ever been here. I've been with Innovate for six years, and it's my very first Infocom, first time in Vegas. So this is quite the culture shock, to be honest with you, compared to other trade shows I've been to in the past. It's a good city to come to right now, because literally all I'm hearing is the sphere, the sphere, the sphere. Right, people just want to go in. Have you got your tickets? I've got my tickets. I haven't been yet. I'll be going tonight. Very much looking forward to finally seeing it in person. I mean, looking around at Las Vegas, I may as well call it Lead Vegas with the amount of <laughs> LED we're seeing in the city right now. So I'm very excited because there is nothing like the sphere out there. Have you been yet? I must be still excited. Uh, Avixa was kind enough to take us yesterday, a select few. So I did experience the current postcards from a planet content that is on there that was extremely good i will be going on saturday to see dead and company so while i'm impressed i'm reserving final judgment until i've seen a concert in the venue as well of course and i've got to be honest it seems like everybody and their dog is dragging us to sphere for their for their after hours event so i think it's really got to hold up and yeah. If it can't retain people after this year, well, I think there's going to be a bit of an issue there. Yeah. Is it a one-trick pony? Let's let's find out. Yep. Who knows? Um, the show. What do you think? Las Vegas, first time. What are kind of like the differences that you're sensing as you're walking around the show floor? Well, we all know that Las Vegas is a city that never stops. It's a city that never sleeps. And that has been true on the show floor today. It has not just been exceptionally busy, but it's been consistently busy from start to finish. Every hall, every aisle has been packed. Every stand seems to be bursting at the gills. And from conversation we're having with manufacturers, maybe a little too busy for their own good, to be perfectly honest with you. But I've got to be honest, there's there are new products here, there are, but there is nothing that is really standing out right now. There is nothing that seems to be particularly new. I've seen launches on the software side and a big focus on that to differentiate products, especially video bars, especially. We all know there's a million video bars out there right now, so how are they differentiating? It's software. So will software be the new battleground for AV companies? I guess we'll have to wait and see. I completely agree with your analysis. People seem to be fleshing out product portfolios right there's nothing that's a curveball there's nothing that's absolutely new or unexpected everyone's making really smart moves and making sure they have all the products to offer to the integrators and the channel right that's all good and like you said software might be where you can start differentiating yourself um, personally I feel that to get a real sense of what's happening where all the puzzle pieces fit we're gonna need another day I couldn't agree more. There is so much happening on the show floor. It's not just difficult to get around in terms of going from hall one to hall two. That's a story in and of itself. But there is so much going on here that we are going to need that extra time to really digest and understand what the real highlights of the show yeah. are. Because right now, just like Las Vegas, it's a lot of lights, a lot of flashing, a lot going on. So let's take our time and see what we can bring to people tomorrow and uh, later in the week. We're going to be back tomorrow with a more in-depth dive into the technology and the trends that we're finding at Infocom. Stay tuned. Don't go away.